Hello aspirants, let us discuss question number 36. Consider all three digit numbers without repetition of digits. Obtain using three non-zero digits which are multiples of three. Let S be their sum. Which of the following is or are correct? S is always divisible by 74. S is always divisible by 9. Select the correct answers. Here first of all, you need to identify whether we need to find the correct answer or wrong answer, incorrect answer. So be careful with that. So next thing is, here we need to identify three non-zero digits, which are multiples of three. If you find uh, these three numbers, we can able to form three digit numbers without repetitions. So let us identify that. See with uh, zero to nine, we can able to form any number of numerals either three digit or four whatever so here the first thing by the statement we need to identify the multiple of three the multiples of three are three six nine after finding out the digits you need to identify how many three digits can be formed by using these three digits so to identify that, just find out the factorial of that three digits. Therefore, three factorial is nothing but one into two into three. What do you mean by factorial? A factorial is nothing but the continuous product of that number from one. And then, therefore, we can able to form six three digit numbers. So therefore, I am identifying those six three digit numbers. So one, we can form with three and six and nine. So with three, we can able to form two numbers, 396 and 369. And then with six, we can able to form two numbers, 639 and then 693. And with nine, you can able to form two numbers, 936, nine, 63 after finding out this possible three digits you need to identify yes what is value of s s be their sum so you have to identify the sum so simply add so nine six nine three six three if you add this 15 24 27 30 36 and then here carries three and then again add 9, 18, 21, 30, 33, 39. Here 3. So therefore add 9, 15, 21, 30, 39. So this is the sum. So we have found S is nothing but 3996. So next thing what you need to know is whether this 3996 can be divisible by 7 4 or not identify that you just do a normal way so 74 just divide so here just find the near number of 399 so the nearest number of 399 so 74 into 5 sir. so this is nothing but 20 to 35 37 so therefore 5 sir, 370 then 2 9 6 so just 4 sir 4 into 4 6 28 29 the 4 remainder gives 0 which means this number 3996 can be divisible by 74 then we need to identify whether it is divisible by 9 so to identify whether that number is divisible by 9 or not you can able to do a division by a proper way that is the school method here by using this method also we can able to find or else if you know the divisibility test by 9 then you can able to solve in a quick manner 3 plus 9 plus 9 plus 6 find out the sum so 12 and then 21 27 yes this 27 can be divisible by 9 so therefore 
this number is also divisible by 9 therefore here we need to identify the correct statement both the given statement here are correct therefore the answer is both 1 and 2 with this i am concluding this question thank you all have a good day